Okay, okay guys, comp day. We're filling up, but we got a race car to show you guys. What do you guys yeah, think of this? Oh, the whole this. plate, yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole two-spoke <laughs> setup. This has left us speechless. <laughs> We're not quite sure what to say about that. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it a one spoke or a two spoke? I think it's two, but... Uh, or it's just a unispoke. Shared, a singular shared spoke. Yeah. Alright, going to the track. The men got here early. Yep. Set up shop a little bit. Got Chucky out. Renee, do you need help with any bags? Got it. Oh, you have two bananas today. One. Nah, I already ate one. Alright, we gotta get set up. See you guys shortly. We're up here for a lot spotting. Uh, I think he's gonna go on a couple more runs. So, that's where the spotter tower is. I haven't been up here yet, but it kind of puts you towards the back half of the track. Kind of weird, you can't even see the first two inners. Or, yeah, you can see this touch and go, third inner, and then the outer. So, we will see how this goes. It's hard to really help from here. It'd be easier to help from where I was sitting yesterday over there, but this is where they have the stand. A lot's going next. We're going to watch him. It's the Great 48. We're live here with the Great 48 here. We're stuck out of the John. What are you doing up here? Sunburn for the pro two guys. <laughs> There's no tents out here. <laughs> We die like men. Okay, response for everybody. Yeah, we need better visibility. Ola, Ola Jaeger, Travis Reader. This should be a fun one to watch here, Ryan. Ola Jaeger, who uh, came into this round, overall points leader. He won at the first round of the Pro 2 Championship. And Travis Reader, who was a contender for the 2017 Pro 2 Championship, a very aggressive driver. Ola Jaeger will be leading. Ola qualified third. Travis Reader barely qualifying. Into the top 16 and 14. Ooh, Jaeger, very Brings it to the outside zone. You see Jaeger about mid-line, about third half part. Reader now getting a bring a good more angle there from Reader actually changing the position. Alright guys, I'm riding back. Fortunately, Travis Reader, well, Good for Travis Reader, unfortunate for Ola. Um, he made a mistake on the, the touch and go area and he didn't hold it out long enough before he transitioned and because of that, he came in real shallow to the second touch and go and then, or no, there's only one touch and go, but he came in really shallow and it, yeah. It was like pretty much straight line, e-brake, bobble, and then it, it was over right there for him. He just right threw it away. I'm sure Ola's not happy. He did his best. Not much you can do, but your best. Hopefully I can learn from watching that and not make the same mistake and do some amazing driving later. All right. All the cars are lined up, we're about to start practice, and it's hot, really hot. So, it's gonna be a hot, sweaty day, painful, but we're gonna start here, and then we just drink a lot of water. <laughs> Got the Dix thing in there, Dix hydration system. Not talking very much, not filming very much, I'm trying to concentrate on driving, okay guys? Let's see how this round goes.
guys. So, win against Mike Gessa, lost, but barely. Uh, we had raised the front tire pressure on the Supra. Like, I didn't want to, because I kind of had it set a certain way. And Matt Field kept telling me, dude, go up, go up. I didn't want to believe him. And then, finally, we did it today. The car was like buttery smooth and didn't do any high speed twitching or like diving. And then we battled that, so it was a really cool battle. Had fun. Close. He was close, but he's just more experienced, so he's like on me a little closer than I was on him. So he got uh, the win. And then uh, I was just riding around to find Matt to say thank you because I was like really appreciative of that. Thank you, Matt. And then now we're just gonna get the car ready for next round real quick because we head straight from this round to Texas. We park the trailer. And, uh, what's up guys? <laughs> uh, so we're gonna kind of prep it best we can real quick. Doesn't need much, but change the injectors. What, what's up? Do it! You do it always at the huh, shop. Huh. You take all the grinding, metal, everything. So, uh, Switch the injectors, a fresh set of Dietrichs 1500s, and then double check some stuff, nut and bolt check it, and we're good to go for practice in Texas on Thursday, most likely, unless we find something that we need to fix or replace. But even though we lost, this feels like the best loss ever. It felt so smooth and so good. So it's like, I was almost getting depressed lately, like, why am I not doing good? But it's because there's always room for improvement and changes on the setup and all, all the above and we learned like a really key thing um thank you matt again so it feels like a newborn excitement to go rip the super on try and keep up with these pro one drivers so i'm happy good job renee i'm proud of you thank you renee clean runs you did that that was two good runs Bill, the UPS man, two good runs for you. <laughs> Not one good lead run, two good runs. Just Mike is a better driver at this point. Maybe one day I'll be able to beat all these people, but not yet. Okay, guys, we're gonna go talk to fans, set up the merch stuff, and uh, probably eat and some stuff like that. Okay, gotta go. Bye, high five. <laughs> The fans of St. Louis, some of them. Yeah. What's up, everyone? Thanks for coming out. We'll have to do this again when there's more. Hey, Joe. Okay. Talk to you guys later. You guys packed up early? Yeah, we did. That's why we're yeah, sweating. Yeah. Feels good, even though we missed some drifting, but we've been to drift events before. Been part of it. Well, there'll be more drifting, so we're just being efficient. Okay, so we're about to leave the track, but here's some Pro 2 guys. This is Garrett. We were helping him like set up his Samsonas and his Jay-Z powered F chassis. Some of the other guys. <laughs> Maybe they, they didn't want to be on camera, but we just made it happen. I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, so we didn't finish last night. We're just on video. We were just enjoying the time we spent with all the random people, FD and all the people we do know, and we didn't feel like filming, sorry. But now we're leaving. Said bye to Jeff Jones. We met those other couple people at the track. And now we're gonna just head to Oklahoma to store the trailer until Texas round. All right, guys. Cool. Hope you enjoy what we were able to film. Sorry it wasn't a little bit more. We're trying to focus on the event and get points as much as we could. Thanks. Getting closer, very close. Okay, see you guys soon. Sounds like it's a good time. That's pretty cool. So now we're headed to Oklahoma City. Yeah. 
behind yeah, the wheel of the truck down, again. And we are going to <laughs> head over to Teach Works <laughs> and see the guys over it's at Teach Works. And they're going to let us store over there during the right. um, gap between St. Louis Let's and Texas. So thank you, Teach Works. It's a big help for us and the team. We slept in the truck again. We were tired. But I think I forgot to tell you guys that the night before, Joe and Tanner flew back at, I had to be at the airport to drop them off at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> we like, were at FD till like midnight-ish or something, then like get home, barely sleep a little bit, wake up at 3.30 maybe, but Joe was making noise at 3, so I was awake at 3 drive into the airport, drive back, and then I was like, well, I'm awake now, so, like, took a while to go back to sleep, then, whatever, barely slept, got up, accident, on I um, accident? no, um, doesn't look like it, um, then, we started driving, so we had, like, our eight-hour drive, if there was no stop, so, we got tired and fell asleep again, so we're gonna get to Detroit's at, like, eight in the morning, it looks like, roughly and then try and get the trailer in there and disconnect it and then kind of hang out with uh, Mark and the guys at Deach Works, see what they have going on there, what's in production, stuff like that. Um, show you guys a little bit and then we got to get to the airport because we fly out at 1 so we only, you know, probably got to leave there around 11 or something. I just thought about something, this is their new building, right? Yeah. So we We've never been to the new building. It's really, really nice, and <laughs> it's crazy because their old building was already nice and had like character to that one and like some cool custom things. So I can only imagine what this one's gonna be like. And then maybe when we come back on the return trip, we're gonna do stuff with like we'll show you guys like cleaning a set uh, or maybe like flow testing and cleaning a set of injectors cool stuff like that so all right let's make this happen go see mark and see the other guys whoever we get to kind of spend some time with today i don't know if we're filming a lot but we'll film a little bit we made it to detroit's there's mark we're, he's gonna help set us up inside the back of the trailer inside oh. all right ready? yeah This barely fits in here. Hey, after we raise it, it doesn't touch. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's like inches away now. We made it. It's bigger than the top of the water. We did it, guys. We all did it. Yeah. I was in there. I was in a different room, but we did it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. We made it happen. Supras and boats, right? and injectors and pumps. <laughs> hey guys, I didn't finish the video from us coming back from traveling. Maybe I'm doing too much stuff at once, but I just get tired and then just uh, didn't happen. Couldn't, couldn't pull it out of myself. Anyways, so this is the recap of the whole FD weekend in St. Louis. We're back, back at the shop. Um, we got home safely. Should have filmed when we first got home so you guys could see how excited the turbo is. Forgot to do it. Anyways, we're back here and hope you guys enjoyed that round of FD and I feel like I got a little boost of confidence after we lightened up the front end on my car where it's like it doesn't react as abruptly to every movement I ask of it and so then that's going to allow me to like um, chase better and not feel like I have to be so delicate on the steering wheel. Um, it's like little things I keep learning. It's like, dang it, I wish I knew all this like four years ago, but it doesn't usually happen like that. You gotta like live and then learn. So then, yeah, overall it was positive. There was negatives and positive, but overall it was good. We had fun, good new spot. Hopefully we go back there again next year. And we got to meet a lot of cool new people. Okay. Also, came home to some other good news. Um, our shoe sponsor, Supra Footwear, came out with a new shoe, the Factor. And 
we're gonna get a pair soon so you guys should check those out we are not selling those but you can buy them on Supra's footwear's website they got a couple new colors and it's like the newest style we like it I'll have it soon you can see me wearing it thanks for watching don't forget you can buy merch on our website or if you need parts for your race car or your street car Brad Parts Store right here all right talk to you guys later high five <laughs>